Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. The Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's War will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is Tech Base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. They were over here. There was no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shields. They broke through our shields! Tech Base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of Stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new Stormtrooper that can take out a Rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. Hey, and welcome to that lengthy cinematic. It, it really tells a lot of story behind it. So yeah, uh, even though this game, I believe, according to Disney, is not canon... I still think it still it fits in, and essentially, Kalkatarn was the one that was the one in line to hand off the uh, plans. And that's actually probably how they found out was their base was hit for the plans. So 
uh, that sort of sparked that whole arc. So let's begin with mission two. Tajat four uh, attack base after the massacre. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping, just like the old days. The rebel command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area, and it's warming with imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, of some of the, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator and get it up back up. The mission, the Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new dark trooper. We've been hearing about through Crix Maydeen. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you may pick up. Good hunting, Kyle. So, uh, essentially, what you guys saw was a new trooper, a new enemy. And they only sent down like eight, you know, a small squadron. And that whole squadron took down the entire base by itself. So we're, we're trying to figure out, all right, what are these guys? Who are these dark troopers? What's going on? So let's, let's kick this off. So yeah, again we are in the... Should be good. I want to say that four shots is enough to take down anyone. Or from afar. So essentially I have to double the number. I don't think my damage is cut too bad. So there's three because I'm about... I'm not too far away. See, that guy went down with one hit, which is good. got this um, I know there's plenty of secrets in this area where I have no clue so you're not see he died you're in one hit he died in one hit and does not look like there's any more so oh there's a dude hello ah, got a shot off on me so yeah, I kind of have to be careful because, uh, I'm going to need my shields later on. That looks like an officer. Just hit the fucker. Just to have, just to manage my ammo a little bit, because if I don't, I will run out of ammo. I mean, yeah, they're dropping plenty of ammo for me, which is good. I'm happy about that, but better safe than sorry. Oh, I did kill that guy. Got a bunch of destroyed buildings. I heard a hall. 
Got you. And you may be saying, it's really dark. The textures are bad. Well, that's because the generator's down. So, the close, uh, thankfully, I haven't gotten to that point, but the closer you get to less shields, the, there is a chance that you will actually take some damage to your actual health. Murder all these guys. Let's go ahead and just run through. I want my piece swimming. Let's go ahead and pop this back on. So now we can actually see stuff, which is nice. And we have platform. This game. This game actually renovated a lot. Uh, I need to check and compare to Doom, but and some of the other Wolfenstein that sort. But this game included jumping, which is nice. Um, it also included. platforming and sprinting a bunch of features that are really nice in these type of games so you can almost look at the evolution of first person shooters and slide this one into one of those uh, notches as you can tell we have lights they can see me now Coax them out. Okay. Coax those guys out, so now I can use the space to. But yeah, uh, I don't know what came first or who got what. Oh, hey. I had someone else shoot me. I'm blind as a bat. God. Good thing there's some shields over here. Kill those guys off. And as we can tell, there's some corpses here. It's very corpsey. So yeah, essentially these are all the uh, people that were here that died. So we're gonna that. I'm gonna try and kill these guys. There we go. I have some cover here. I'm gonna try and kill off those guys. Pick up some shields. But yeah, as we can tell, looking in here, they this place took a major beating, and it's unfortunate. But hello. So. Much like Doom and Duke Nukem and Wolfenstein, these are not the only two weapons we're going to have. We're going to have a whole slew of weapons, all bound to the number keys. Yeah, but I have a blaster. That gives me all Let's go So we now have a little secret area. 
I'm going to skip out on picking. Bypassed a bunch of stuff. It's good to know. So I think this is actually the rebel base that they were talking about. Not very secret, but. There's quite a few Imperials here, which is kind of annoying, but eh, meh. I'm gonna take them down. They're not that tough, so, and yes, I'm taking my sweet time to explore, that, and we're gonna hug this wall, there we go, okay, let's go ahead and head up here, I will get to you momentarily, sir, because there's some new shields over here, nice, that looks like it's almost a, uh, freaking, I'm gonna switch over to this weapon. Just for the way to fire. Ooh, that slow down. So as you can tell, I am really wasting my ammo here. But it is taking care of these guys pretty nicely. There are plenty of secrets in this game, and unfortunately I don't know them all, so don't expect me to find any of them. But... So like in many games, you want to keep moving. Their AI is pretty meh. I will find out momentarily. There we go. Oh, hey. You can see that guy took three shots. That guy took a couple. We stock on ammo. Apparently they all only have 15 ammo left. And hey. There we go. Back up to 150. That's not bad. Uh, oh, hey. What's this? Go ahead, Kyle. Looks like I found something that can help us out. Get back to the landing pad and I'll meet you there. So now we have to GTFO. Or de-ass ourselves with the pickings. Oh my. These guys do not like that I was here. Obviously, I know how things work. So I could jump to there. Oh, uh-huh. And I know that there's a shield over here, so let's go ahead and pick that up. But I don't think I'll need any more shields unless I come across more gunfire. But we will see. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's head down the river. Trudging through the river. So this can be a fairly quick way back, but wish I knew where the extra life was, but I don't. 
Maybe we might encounter it just by going through here. Oh, don't. Oh, fun. Guess what? We get to crawl back this way. Yeah. Oh well. Ah. That's a pseudo light source. In case you guys want to pick this up, shooting your blaster is always not a bad idea. Since there's so much shields, I might as well pick up some of them. You know? A pseudo loading zone. It's. I mean, this was back when. I mean, this is all one level. There's no actual loading zones. But. Man, when you get a large number of these guys in a small area, it's annoying. One thing to keep in mind is your shields and oh, I'm down on to 54. Oh, this is gonna suck because I know what's in these rooms. Not that room. Aha! An extra life. This be five. I'm gonna need those later. Upstairs. There we go. Ooh. I'm just gonna say screw you guys. Alright, well, that's gonna be the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, and yeah, expect more to come. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. If you do, the best way to support and show. Hit that like button. It really does help. It spreads my name if I understand how that works. I, I'm i not entirely sure. But you know. I'm not too against it. But yeah. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind doing that. That would be great. Uh, I will see you guys next time.